Hello, it is me again. And I'm trying not to look like burnt. It, it, it's so weird because I got both the lamps on and I still just... Mm. Hello. Uh, I, I won't even be long. Uh, I had done a thing. I took a thing down. I'm back. I just wanted to do a thing really quick to comb my beard and show you how cool my beard was. No, that's not why I'm here. Uh, I had done my video earlier today telling you that Asia and I had concerns. Not necessarily concerns about the drug test, but like there were a lot of people coming in with like their synthetic pee. They didn't know what they were going to be doing. And Asia was just like, hey, whatever, dude. I got my license. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to walk in here. I'm going to drop for y'all. And if y'all got issue with me, y'all can let me know. Good. California is, that's, dude, we're like the weed state now. It's like, it's not even a big deal out here anymore. So, for all the people who attempted, hey, did you, did, did like, the people who did have some therapy, were they able to get it in? I, I had no time to talk to anybody because right after it. Ah, uh, yeah, you had that whole incident. Okay. So I, I have no idea. All I was told is everybody passed, so we all have jobs. Yeah. So I feel I feel like it's the sort of thing, though. Except for the person who didn't pass. Except for the, oh, you know what? That's what I didn't talk about. And I won't call him out by name or anything. Cause I don't remember his I, name anyway. I appreciate that when you do videos and you're talking about my business. You, you do this thing. You used to do this thing when you were at work. And if there was somebody and you were saying something about them, oh, I don't to call their names, and then you'd say their name. Well, oh, that's mean. You like, there are just some things that are just not my business to tell. You do that all the time. Like, let's say, let's say you know somebody. Wow, named, I feel like we having a whole different, hold on, we, stay right there. Like, let's say you know somebody named Kevin, and Kevin did something really stupid or messed up. And you'd be like, yeah, not to call any names, Kevin. And then you'll go to That's Thursday. mean. Do that all the time. I mean, okay, look, I'm a dick. I'm yeah. a mean dick. But, like, well, like I, I understand not... some things are just not my place to say about some I'm people. Now, I'll, if somebody say something stupid, then sure, maybe I'll call them out on something stupid. Like, blatantly stupid. Like, Marlon Wayne sip sex tuplet stupid well no because like and your thing was always oh they'll never see this but that's not the point but i was well i was just going to say that even though that's the thing that you typically do i was saying i appreciate that you aren't When's, calling out any of my teammates no that's that that wouldn't be my that, business to tell at all yeah so. like that would be mean i appreciate it it's just hey maybe things are different but maybe things are different me. um there was a guy whom, today was the drug test. Everybody knew about the drug test all week. And some of these dudes was going out and buying synthetic pee. Like, I'm not about to pay $100 for somebody else's pee. That's stupid. I'm, I'm going to pay you for your waste. That's well, stupid. You would. you would if you were paranoid from the South. And you wanted to keep your comfy job where you were making like four grand a month. Like, if that's uh, what you felt like you needed to do, you can get away with it. But this is a completely different environment, yeah. completely different way of doing things. Yeah, it's like you can't like. And if you had, if if you had been in security for a blank amount of years and you've gotten away with doing that kind of thing before, then it would make sense that you would think that that would work again. But this is the first time that you've had to deal with that kind of thing in a new state, new rules. Yeah, okay, maybe so, not in California, because maybe in Michigan you could get away with that shit, but you can't just sneak pee into places. That's but then there was one guy, and again, I don't remember his name, and I wouldn't say his name either, uh, knowing that the drug test was coming up, decided that he was going to get sick. So he, however he, whatever method he chose to start throwing up very publicly oh. so people would know he was throwing up so he could get sent home. Don't, don't get yourself sent home the day of the drug test. I don't think he was afraid of, I don't, I don't, I'm going to assume that he's not on drugs. But I believe he is such a terrible, terribly bad alcoholic that he was paranoid that that would somehow show up. Now, that's not a thing. <laughs> no, there's no drink, such thing as an alcohol test. But if you drink well, breathalyzers. So, if you drink so much that you think that it might interfere at all, then that means you have some serious problems. And at that point, it's not even funny anymore. And I just, I'm very sad for you. Because yeah. How are you that messed up drinking that much where you can 
sort of function at work and then drink more at work, but know to drink so much to Mm-mm. make yourself sick that's, and have to puke it up. That's stupid. Like, well, and and I'm just that's just these are all assumptions, but these are all assumptions based on things from people who have known him for a long time. Everything I've learned about him over the last few months, it just makes sense that that's what happened. Okay, so we'll just stick with the facts. Just the facts. There was a drug test today. A guy who we know has alcohol on his person while he is at work and smells like alcohol. Found a way to go home early, a half an hour before the drug test. Oh no, I'm sorry, no. Ten minutes before it was Oh, 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 ten... No, oh! Were, no, they were there. Okay, they were there. Ten and minutes. the first person who went was one of my coworkers who's off at three. Okay, that and makes sense. And they were sense. like, well, hey, since they're bringing it here, just stay. You'll get paid for that extra 30 minutes. You knock it out here. So he was like, okay, cool. So he went and did it first. Right after him was supposed to be the next person. And while that dude was taking his test... He was outside. He got sick. Th- okay. Look, and then dude. it was like, well, go home, I guess. I wouldn't be surprised even, if you didn't see him again. Even if he did do it. Even if he did do the test. The fact that all of that happened. It's like the director of the company you've been working for right. a week and a half is here. And it's a it just looks so bad. It looks really bad. Like, even me, I'm standing there and I know, no matter how much water I've been drinking any of that i know that there's still thc in my in in my system the fact that i'm standing there and i'm watching her look at a test that says i have thc in my system i was just like i could either freak out or i could go and start explaining things i wasn't going to do any of that until something was brought to my attention and And honestly i feel like if i had started explaining things like oh well you know i got my license you want to take a look at that would be weird weird. yep so i waited it was like if it comes up and they say, hey, this and that, then I'll say, hey, yeah, you know, I take pills, but I have a prescription. Would you like to see it? But it never got to that point. See, so. and that's 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 called having your bases covered. Not that you even needed it. Because it didn't even come up. But it's just like, how bad does it look that 10 minutes before your test? Oh, I don't feel good. If that's the way you feel, dude, hey, just pee real quick and then go home. Because, like, you got to pee. Everybody got... But whatever. Look, this is just to let it... It took me eight minutes to get it out. This is business as usual. Everything is fine. There's nothing to see here. A1. 